Number 38. Unreasonable results. Letter A. Repeat exercise 4.29, but assume an acceleration of 1.2 meters per second squared is produced. Uh, B. What is unreasonable about this result? And C. Which premise is unreasonable and why? All right. Um, so 29 over here on the right, just recall, you can take a look back at the video too. Um, but just remember that we had an 1100 kilogram car. So here's the 1100 kilogram car. It's pulling a 700 kilogram in total uh, boat with its trailer. And it was accelerating at a, a value of 0.550 meters per second squared. So now what they're saying is that, um, oh, and by the way, the f force that this car um, had placed on the ground, it told us was 1900 newtons, all right? So let me draw a uh, free body diagram that represents this entire system, okay? So here are my coordinates, right? It said that in the problem here, if you look back to here, um, that there is a 1900 newton force that's produced by the front car. So uh, that's pr pushing the car forward, all right? So that's 1900. So 1900 newtons uh, exist here. And they also told us that there is a, um, actually, oh, they asked us for what, what force resists the motion. All right, that's, that's right, I forgot. So there is some force that's going to resist the motion here. That actually won't be important, though, in this problem. All right, just pretend that we don't know it. All right, well, don't pretend. I mean, we don't know it. So um, what I can now do is I can now see, all right, let me just look at the information that they gave us. Okay, that we have an acceleration here of 1.20 meters per second. And I do know the total mass, right? The combined mass of this whole system would be 1,800 kilograms because 1,100 plus the 700. Let me just see what math works out, all right? So let's say I have the sum of the forces in the x direction should be equal to um, max, right? And just remember also, guys, that this was assuming to have an acceleration in the right-handed direction before. Okay, and they tell us that that acceleration is now 1.20 meters per second. All right, so let's see. Some of the forces in the x direction then will equal the mass, the combined mass of the whole system, which is 1800, right, multiplied by that, that acceleration of 1.20. So the sum of the forces in the x direction uh, will equal, so 1800 times 1 1.2, all right, so it's 2160. So 2160 newtons. So already I can already we can see a problem, right? Just think about this for a second, guys. The total force that's needed, okay, to accelerate this system to the right at an acceleration of 1.2 meters per second is this value of 1,160 newtons, okay? But what is the force that the car applies? It only applies 1,900 newtons. So wait a minute. In order to reach this acceleration for this mass, I need 2,000, a little over 2,000 newtons. But the car is going to produce only 1,900 newtons. So how in the world are we going to get to 2,100 uh, newtons or a little over 2,000 newtons? There's nothing missing in the problem. It's just not possible. That's why it says it's an unreasonable uh, result. All right. So there's no way we can achieve this required force when the only force that's applied in the problem is from the car itself and it tells us 1900 newtons all right so um that's what's unreasonable and it says what is i'm telling you what's unreasonable so that answers let it be and then see it says what premise is unreasonable i don't know there could be a couple of premises maybe they measured the acceleration wrong maybe it's not 1.20 meters per second or uh, maybe the car actually produces more right than uh, 1900 newtons maybe the acceleration is right they are but then when they uh, measured the force that the car is producing, maybe that was wrong. You know, there could be a couple of things. But in any case, guys, I think that pretty much sums it up. I think that makes sense why it would be unreasonable. And um, yeah, so listen, thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it very much. It'd be awesome if you could uh, subscribe. That would be great. And uh, I look forward to helping you out with the next question.